So there was more pettiness going on in the uh, association last night. Ricky Rubio, like people are hating on him for like not being an amazing point guard or the hating on him for the hair. I don't really know what it is, <laughs> but once again, he got put on his ass. Here's what occurred and then we'll discuss. Booker. Oh, hey. I mean, Chris, oh, nice finish. Could that be a Shaq in the floor? What uh -oh. was that? Uh-oh, go! Whoa. Come on now, out of here. Ingles has to hold back Marquis Chris. This is a problem when, when these things happen, and they happen multiple times, it becomes cumulative for us. There's a point where you stop recognizing that it's a different team. It just keeps happening. Our point guard's been leveled, knocked to the ground, you know, two times in one possession tonight. And, you know, guys are going to have each other's backs. And, and where that goes, and when it gets like that, you never know what happens. When these things continue to happen, one, someone's health is at risk. So it's concerning the fact that it continues to happen to us. All right, so while this was going on, we heard from Quinn Snyder who was like, if there were to be a head coaching bachelor episode, he would probably be the lead contestant <laughs> to be the bachelor. He would either be like rolling sevens in Vegas or he'd be the bachelor, I don't know which one. However, remember not too long ago that Jeff Teague elbowed Ricky Rubio and put him on his ass. So now again, this happened. JR was asking me, like, why, why did I zoom in on the video, what happened? What I thought the disrespect was from the Phoenix Suns' perspective, I'm not saying this is right at all. When Ricky Rubio, not AI to Ron Lewis, but he stepped over Marcus Chris to get the ball in quickly, because Chris <laughs> thought like, oh, I embarrassed myself by missing a bunny of a dunk when I have a 6'10 wingspan. Mm -hmm and just like getting blocked by the rim, ball goes out of bounds, Rubio hops over him and tries to speed up the play. So then Jared Dudley went after him. He tweeted this after the game as well. Thought Marquis Chris got fouled, he didn't. The ref gave them the ball while he was on the ground with my other teammates trying to help him up. I always wanted to stop the fast break. The push was a little much, but he flopped and sold it. Flagrant one or two, and you move on. Jared Dudley has always been the ultimate pro. Obviously, emotions got the best of him. But Robert, when you're looking at this, was it uh, was it Ricky Rubio flopping? Was he wrong to step over Chris and try to speed up the pace of play? Or was Marquis Chris just like well, down on his ass because he missed a bunny of a dunk? Well, obviously, there's some people who aren't giving the respect to ravishing Ricky Rubio uh, <laughs> like they should. You see, once you get that reputation, Ricky Rubio has to punch somebody in the face now. See? <laughs> That's the thing. That's the, that's the thing about life. This is not about basketball. This is about life. Listen Get to me when I, when I no, listen to me when I'm telling you. This. I'm this listening. Point. This I'm is important. When people push you down and you don't get up and you roll around and stuff like that, you know what they're gonna say? That guy's a pushover. That's where it comes from. Push over. So that's what you like that, didn't you? Push over. You're feeling it, right? How long did it take you to think of it? I, I watched something yesterday about it. Push. It was that commercial with Charles Barkley and the tumbleweeds. You seen that one? Uh -uh. No, okay, never mind. Samuel L. Jackson, and it's a good commercial. Check it out. That's the problem with Rubio, is that people don't respect him. And if nobody respects you, then they're just going to keep doing it to you. So his teammates, that's great. They're, they're picking you know, up for him. But mm -hmm. he, he himself has to say, that's enough. I, I, okay, I hear what you're saying. I tend to agree that he needs to do something. However, what he should do is just play better. No. What he should do no. is let his game do the talking no, nobody instead could. of punching someone in the face what's and then serve a 20 badly? game what's suspension. Come on, what's up with you with all these cliches? <laughs> let his game do the talking. Why I not? Thought, I thought this was TYT. <laughs> that TYT, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, I need a little. So, so, wait, wait. So, your problem is you don't let your actions speak louder Absolutely than what not. you're doing by balling against anybody else? No. So what you're saying is that Ricky Rubio cannot even live up to the cliche of letting his game do the talking, so what he has to do is now con uh, comfort to being a dirty player. Absolutely. I disagree. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. I disagree. Not We're dirty. not in that day and age it's not, anymore, it's man. It's not dirty. If you just take it, I'm if not you're saying, punching someone in the face. Okay, how I, is that not, not dirty? I didn't, I didn't mean literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Punching somebody in the face. Uh, I'm just saying a little shoulder block here, a little Grayson yeah, Allen fine. trip. That's, that's fine. A little Grayson that's Allen booty no, bump. You well, know, it's a little dirty, a little, but yeah, a, I get a, it. A little, you know, something just to get his respect. And back. what do you view Grayson Allen as? Oh, Grayson Allen is you, you a ever, dirty player. You ever seen um, Revenge of the Nerds? Of course. Yeah, he's the guy from the 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 
the, the fraternity. Which one? I don't know, the white The guy. one with the glasses? <laughs> you know, the is, he, is he the one that goes, not my pie? It, no, that's not the one. That's not it? it? No, no, no. Oh, no, that, that, was the, that was the bad guy. That was yeah. the bad guy from the fraternity. He's Biff. You're talking, you're talking about the guy that looks like Squint. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's Biff from Back to the Future. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's who All Bryson right. Allen is. All right. Put that booty back. You're not Beyonce. No, but okay, so uh, I'm sorry. I think the basis, the basis for, <laughs> for Ricky, your, your, I guess, opposition to Robert's mm. point is playing better isn't going to stop them from bullying you. Mm. The, the fact that they're bullying you, you have to respond with, respond with a similar action. Playing better, they can be like, oh, yeah, he's balling, but I'm still going to knock him down. Mm. That doesn't change anything. Right. They have to know that you're going to physically respond the way that they're responding to you or else they're going to keep doing it. It's kind of what Quinn Snyder was saying. He's like, eventually this is going to happen because these are grown-ass men and not going to keep taking it. So let me ask you something. When Steve Nash got put on his ass against the Spurs, did he go after opposing teams? But they had more he, respect for Steve he, Nash. Yeah. The, I mean, totally, and, and you know but what? what did he do as an action to get revenge? He didn't have Nothing. To Steve Nash. They respect exactly. Steve Nash. They don't respect Rubio. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. Ricky Rubio, play better. Work on your game more so you it's have not, that yeah. respect. I don't think it, I think he has no. to do a little more yeah. than that and show that there's intimidate players in a different yeah. way as opposed to just getting aggressive to the point where he's literally punching someone to the face isn't going to necessarily show that, okay, respect me. It's just going to mm -hmm. show, okay, this guy's really easy to push his buttons. That's All you true. have to do is continue bullying him yeah. the way that, that they are. Because at the end of the day, his game isn't where he needs to be. Totally. The, the, hasn't been. It hasn't been. And the fact that he's demanding this respect, yes, of course, he needs to measure up with his stats. He needs to play better. He needs to work on his game. But he also needs to demand it in another way as opposed to just relying on stats. It's like a medium. It's like you're, you have your stats here and then you have like the punching in the face draw line. He needs something in between that's going to work to his advantage as far as like getting the rest of the team's well, respect. Well, the Utah that's Jazz are playing really, really well. Mm -hmm. The problem is they're in the West. Mm -hmm. So any of this tough play that we may see, we may not get to see it in the playoffs, even though they've been awesome.